Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going over the three new shades from M Cosmetics for their So Soft blushes. This was their Valentine's Day launch and obviously as you're watching it's way past Valentine's but I really love the little illustrations they use to promote this collection. So I wanted to recreate those looks to show you what the three new shades look like on me. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into the review. So I did receive these in PR and they also sent me the cutest little bag that actually fits all three of the blush sticks perfectly. I love when brands like send extra little cute things like this that's not makeup. I live for this and it's actually such a nice mini bag like it's so soft as well and it has the M logo on the front that was such a nice little gift with the blushes. But if I open up my little mini bag it actually does have like a card holder slot as well. This would be you know a cute little bag to take on a night out or something. It fits three blushes inside. It could fit I don't know. Keys, mint, lip products, touch up powder, it would fit in here. But I did check online and they don't have this anymore so I'm gonna assume maybe while these did launch they had a little promo as a free gift perhaps but I wish they would sell these because it's seriously so cute. But here are the three new shades for their So Soft blushes. This is not a new formula, just three new shades to celebrate Valentine's Day and the three shades we have are called Demure which is a neutral soft pinky beige. We have Chiffon which is a cool pink with lilac undertones and that is the shade that I'm currently wearing. And then lastly we have a Strawberry which is a mid-tone red with coral undertones. These are 30 US dollars each um, and I did make a initial review video. Um, I'll leave it up here. So it's not a new formula but it is a very well loved formula from me. I use the So Soft bronzer in a Terra every single day like I literally love that like this formula if you're not familiar super creamy easy to blend out very pigmented and I am a powder girl if you guys know me I'm a powder girl and I actually apply these on top of powder and they work really well which you are gonna see because this is like the little illustration um, you probably have seen it over their Instagram and they did one look for each of the blushes and they all like show a different type of girl you know so I wanted to recreate each look um, using M Cosmetics products so just showing some M Cosmetics some love this video is not sponsored by the way guys I really do just love M Cosmetics and I'm always inspired by every single launch and I guess just extra things that they claim the so soft blushes are is that it's nourishing, enhancing, comfortable, fragrance free, it's cruelty free, vegan, it has squalane, vitamin E infused in the formula to help condition and protect the skin barrier. Just a lot of amazing things and I really do love this formula and I think the shade Chiffon is my absolute favorite. It probably is going to be one of my go-tos. Like I'm going to put this in my top drawer. I'm not going to talk too much about them because I'm going to talk about them while I'm applying it throughout the tutorials. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into those looks. So for the first look we're going to recreate this illustration here using the Demure blush stick. This one is giving very cozy girl vibes and I first took this shade here called Sculpt and this is just going to be the all over base color. I honestly wish I just used this shade alone. I think I went a little too dark. Well that's okay, that's okay. So I'm just going to work that all over my lid first and then I'll slowly blend that up into my crease and then running this on to my lower lash line then we're gonna go into this shade. This shade is called Sculpt. That shade was called Timeless. It doesn't really look that dark in the pan but once you put it on the eyes I feel like it goes pretty deep so I'm gonna take a little on my brush and then I'm just gonna mainly focus this onto my lid just sort of creating like a smoky eye then taking more of a defining brush, we're going to focus this on the lower lash line. And the final step, we're going to take the shade Whisper. And this is just going to be our inner corner highlight. It's a really nice like mid-tone gold, so it doesn't really highlight as much as I usually would. But I think for this look, and when I look at the illustration of Michelle, it doesn't look like she has much shimmer on. But I do just want a little bit in my inner corners. But now it's time for the blush. We're using the shade Demure, which is described to be a neutral soft pinky beige. So I already have it on this side and I'm just going to use a 
brush. This is the BK Beauty 106 brush and I'm just going to apply it right at the apples of my cheeks, sort of like under my eyes. And the shade is really pretty. It's like a perfect neutral pink. And then for lips, the illustration of Michelle, it's like a brown mocha type of shade. First, I'm going to go in with their lip liner in the shade Teddy. I think this is going to work as a good base. And then I'm just going to go in with a gloss. This one is called Caramel Glaze. It's their True Gloss formula. But here we have the first look completed using the Demure So Soft blush stick. I love how this look turned out. It's definitely a little bit more neutral and like sultry than my usual makeup style, but I still love the cozy vibe to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look using Demure. And then onto the second look, we'll be using the So Soft shade in Strawberry. This look definitely is a little bit more grungy and a bit darker. So we're going to go into the Fade of Clementine palette, taking this shade here called Ebros. And we're just going to blend this onto the lids first and then slowly start blending up into the crease. This is actually my second time filming this look. I just had to refilm it. I didn't really like how it turned out the first time I did it. I took the blush like way too low and it just looked so so bad. I think with this blush, Shawberry, because it's so bright, you have to be quite precise with your placement and I kind of just went crazy with it. I feel like this is a little bit closer to my eye. I think it looks a bit better and today had to be gloomy so the lighting in all three looks is going to be a bit different. And we're also going to run this all over our lower lash line. You can get really smoky with this because essentially it is going to blend into the blush and you know what the good thing is about me refilming this is that today I actually remembered to not put powder on which means we're going to be applying the blush directly onto non-set skin which is good like fourth time is the charm really so we're going into the shade strawberry taking this on a brush I'm gonna first focus this at the outer corner of my eye that's what Michelle actually says on the card is to dab it on at the outer edge of your eye and blend it up and this is giving us like a super grungy type of look and essentially the only other thing that I did to my eye look um, other than eyeliner and mascara I just took the Unleashia glitter stick this is number four and I just use that in my inner corners for a little highlight. I am going to finish off my eye off camera, but I thought while I'm here, I'll just show you the lip color I'm going to wear. This is the Soft Spoken Lip Cream in Intuition. But here we have the second look completed using the So Soft shade in Strawberry. I definitely like how this look turned out much more than the first time I filmed it. I think the placement is just a bit better, especially with such a bright shade against my skin. So I really do love how it turned out. It's definitely giving more of a grungier vibe. It's definitely different from what I usually do, but let me know what you guys think and I hope you guys enjoyed the second look. But now onto the third and final look look we're using the shade chiffon which definitely this look would have to be my favorite we're going to be using the magic hour palette taking the shade sunset this is going to be our all over color so i'm just going to work that over my lids and then slowly blend that up into my crease also gonna run this all over my lower lash line. Then we're going into Phoenix and I'm just gonna focus this at the outer corners here. It's honestly not too much darker than Sunset so it's just going to give us a subtle definition at the outer third. But now taking the shade Magic Hour and this is gonna go at the inner third of our eyes. I'm gonna blend that into my crease. And then I'm actually going to just take my Fenty Balm highlighter in How Many Carrots and using this to highlight my inner corners first just as the base and I'm going to bring it up here into my crease for additional sparkle because the metallics in the M palette are a little bit more satin like. And then I will also take that into my lower lash line as well. I feel like it's a bit too silvery for this warm look. So we're going to go into the shade here called Heavenly and essentially just put that on top of the Fenty Balm highlighter to make it a little bit more warm. And now it's time for the blush. This is the shade Chiffon, which I think would have to be my favorite shade. Like, 
I did not expect that I would like such a cool tone pink, but once it's on my cheeks, it kind of looks a little bit more lavender. And lavender against olive skin tone, a yellow skin tone, um, it definitely gives a brightening look. So I'm just like obsessed with this one and this look overall. I mean, it's all pink. And guys, again, today I was like, I'm not gonna put powder on but I put powder on, so we're putting this right on top of powder and just look how well that blends in. Oh, I'm just a powder girl, I cannot use cream, like for some reason, I'm like, I'm filming with cream blush today, don't put your powder on. And I put the powder on. And for my lip color, I'm going in with another soft-spoken lip cream. This is the shade Petal. So here we have the final look using chiffon. I love how this look turned out. It's my favorite out of the three for sure. I feel like it's probably closer to my usual style. So I love how it turned out and hopefully you guys like it too. All right guys, so those were the three looks using the three new So Soft blushes. Let me know which one was your favorite. I obviously have a clear favorite, um, chiffon the shade, but also just the overall look the pink I love pink so this one will definitely have to be my favorite but let me know your favorite down below let me know what you think of the new shades did you pick them up because obviously they did launch over Valentine's Day which was like a month ago at this point but regardless I hope you guys found today's video helpful if you did if you could give it a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so much but thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you and I'll see you in my next video bye